So we're all familiar with Y2K, right? Well, what if I told you we're about to see something else that is similar to Y2K, but works slightly differently? Yeah, ever thought about that? Before this video starts, I want to say thank you for getting me to 40 subscribers. It's been rough trying to get through with YouTube over the past seven years and just seeing all the views and likes really makes it easier to make and upload YouTube video. Anyways, thanks for hanging and continue on with the video. Yes, we're going to be experiencing another Y2K-like issue on January 19, 2038 at 3.14.08 a.m. UTC. Now, what's going to be the issue this time? Well, it's going to be the signed 32-bit Unix rollover. Now, let me go over what I'm talking about. 32-bit Unix systems use a signed 32-bit integer for counting seconds from 12.00.00 a.m. UTC, January 1st, 1970. And that value can go up to 2 million, or 2 billion, 147 million, 483,647, or 2 to the power of 31 minus 1. Now, if you do the math right, that gets you January 19, 2038, 3.14.08 a.m. And what that means is that from here, let me bring up a uh, little gift from Wikipedia here. Um, you will notice that in this gift at 3.14.08 a.m., the date might flip around to December 1901. Because it's now negative. Now, let me go a little bit uh, into detail on sign integers and unsigned integers, because that's what we need to know to understand this issue. An unsigned integer, let me open up an instance of the calculator here. An unsigned integer can only go positive. Basically, meaning that um, you'll be able to go positive, but you will not be able to go to a negative number. So let me set this so you cannot go negative there will be no negative numbers in an unsigned integer in a signed integer there are negative numbers so like you can do negative numbers like this but not in a positive integer. you'll always be dealing with positive in an unsigned integer now that's where 23 issue comes up. And, and why it flips over 1901 and not 1970. Now, is there anything being done about this? Well, obviously, yes. There are fixes being made for the 2038 problem, is what it's well known as. And uh, what's going on to be done depends on what you've got. If you're worried about your computer having the issue, uh, the answer is you're very likely not going to have the 23 problem on your computer. However, embedded systems are more likely because they were designed not to be updated because uh, there's actually two simple fixes, well, not necessarily simple, but two fixes known to work that don't work with everything. First of all, they're switching to an unsigned integer, which, like I mentioned, is uh, only positive. That would give us until February 21 of 6, but that would prevent anything from being able to see dates prior to 1970. The second option, which is already being done on most modern computers and equipment, is uh, switching to a 64-bit signed integer, which would give us... Uh, more than 292 billion years, which uh, does sound 
way longer than in sounds like actually it's longer than the estimated life of the, the estimated age of the universe that many people have mentioned about but uh yeah 292 billion years but that would prevent compatibility with older systems and essentially embedded systems are much more vulnerable to the 238 problem because uh, many systems like cars, for example, were designed not to have to be updated. So this means that there will not be a fix for the 2038 problem and that after 3.14.08 a.m. during 19.23, it will not be updated to accommodate for it and you would basically be doomed. Of course, not everything is going to be affected by the time. So, like like I said, most modern computers will not be affected. Um, especially if, even if it does use Unix time. However, some old, old programs, some old, old 32-bit programs might have to be updated. A 64-bit version might have to be released uh, to fix this. Um, and if that happens, then you'll need to be on the lookout for updates because some things like for security measurements, if the date flips back, you're basically being locked out of everything and you don't want that to happen. So there might be a fix for those you want to see. But yeah, that is the story behind the 238 problem. If you guys want to see more explanations, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, comment below anything you guys want to see me do, and I will see you in the next video.